Good morning, guys. I hope everyone is doing good today. Well, actually, not good morning. It's one o'clock in the afternoon. It's Thursday, February 23rd. I'm actually working from home today because my supervisor was just like, you know what, you guys can work from home Thursday and Friday this week. So I'm super grateful for that. I hope everyone has been having a good week. Um, my week has been stressful and just been having a bad week. Um, you know, just normal life things. Uh, Madi normally walks to school um, Tuesday through Thursday while I'm in the office and she walks home from school. Well, sometimes when I'm at work, um, she decides not to go to school and she falls back to sleep and then she stays home. And that's kind of frustrating for me because she really needs to go to school and I can't leave work all the time to, you know, drop her off at school. So yeah, it's kind of stressful that, and then just, you know, normal things happening. Um, we got a letter in the mail that our mortgage is going up for the house. So more payments for that. Um, I'm gonna try to figure something out with that whole thing um, because last, not last year, two years ago, um, we were living in another city and we bought a, a like a brand new construction house. So they didn't know what the taxes were going to be for the house and the insurance. Um, so our mortgage was going up every year living in that house because supposedly they didn't know what the taxes were. So um, we thought it was because of, you know, it was a new house. And then now the same thing is happening here. This is not a brand new house and our mortgage has been going up every year since we moved here um, a couple years ago. And so, yeah, just, you know, stressful, normal life things, but we have to figure out something with that. Um, I don't know if we're gonna end up like just trying to pay off all the taxes so that our monthly payments are not so high or try to extend the payments out, I don't know. But yeah, you know, life is not always fun and happy. Sometimes things like this happen and I've just had a rough week this week and I just wanted to check in with you guys and update you guys. Um, yeah, I'm about to go. It's one o'clock. You saw I doesn't get out of school until 3.30, but I'm about to go pick her up because um, she wants to get signed out early. And I'm gonna sign her out because she she's doing really good in school. Um, she has good grades. She's been getting to school every day. And so since she's been doing good, I'm gonna go ahead and sign her out early and then I have to come back home. I have a Costco order that I'm waiting to be delivered. I'll show you guys that haul um, whenever we get back home. Hopefully it'll be delivered by then. But yeah, anyways, I will see you guys later when we come back home. Hey guys, um, just got back from picking up Gisela from school, from signing her out early. And not too long after I came back, they dropped off my Costco order. So it was perfect timing. So I'm gonna do a quick haul of everything that we got from Costco. Um, and yeah, so I got laundry detergent because we use a lot of laundry detergent. And I got these. I've been trying to eat healthier and buy like healthier snacks and stuff, so I got those. Um, I got ham and turkey and stuff just for like um, maybe to make like Cuban sandwiches one day or if Steven wants to make um, a sandwich for lunch or for work or whatever. Um, I got granola because I want to buy some yogurt, um, but I don't know what yogurt I want to buy yet, so I didn't buy any from Costco. So I got that, um, I got the magic eraser wipes because I use these to clean the countertops and the bathrooms too, like the bathtub and stuff like that. Um, I use bleach too, but like for the bathrooms, but I like to use these cause it gets out like all the stains and stuff like that. So I got that, I got these for the girls. They're like, um, chocolate crepes. I thought they were hazelnut, but oh yeah, they are hazelnut filling. The girls love, 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 love these. I like them too, um, but I've been trying to eat healthier, so I might not eat too many of these, um, but they 
love to eat those in the morning for breakfast. Um, and then I got some crackers. You can eat these, of course, with whatever. Um, I got some chicken nuggets because the girls are always complaining that they're hungry and there's never anything to eat in the house. So I got them chicken nuggets. They can either make them in the air fryer or throw them in the oven really quick when they get home from school so that they have something to eat. Or if I don't feel like cooking one day, you know, we can eat those. Um, I got some frozen blueberries because I want to add that to my smoothies. And I got some more chicken strips for the girls. And oh, and then I got this huge thing of Clorox wipes because I use a lot of Clorox wipes. Um, so I got blueberries because we love to eat blueberries. And then also we have a bearded dragon. And so we feed, we feed it blueberries, kale, spinach, all that kind of stuff. Um, strawberries for smoothies and of course just to eat. Um, I got Brussels sprouts because like I said, we're trying to eat healthy. So I need to get some healthy stuff to eat. Um, broccoli, more healthy stuff. And then I got these. I love, 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 love these. I can eat these like with cream cheese. And then my sister-in-law, she put us on um, cream cheese with this pepper jelly. So it's like sweet and spicy, which is my favorite. I love sweet and spicy together. So you just get like a block of cream cheese, put that pepper jelly on there, and um, I'll show you guys what it looks like if you want to see it. And then we just eat it with these, and it's so good. Probably not the healthiest thing, but it's so good. And then I just got some coconut water. Big thing of coconut water. I like this one because it doesn't have a lot of sugar. And this is the one that I put in um, my smoothies. I'm going to put everything away because I'm on lunch. And I only have 10 minutes left. I have to go clock back on um, and keep working for the rest of the day. And yeah, so let me hurry up and put this stuff away and I'll see you guys later. Okay, I just got done putting everything away. I have a couple minutes left and I gotta go clock back on to work. Um, but I got a lot of stuff done during my lunch, which is why I love working from home. I got laundry done. I washed dishes. I cleaned out the fridge of like, all the leftovers, washed all that stuff, picked up Gisela, put groceries away. So this is why I love working from home. That's my ultimate goal. So yeah, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and yeah, come join our crazy family. I gotta go clock back on to work. Hey guys, so I just got out the shower. I'm about to start editing a video. It's supposed to be posted tomorrow. Um, hopefully I'll have it done in time, if not, I will hopefully have it done tomorrow night um, so I can post it tomorrow night and yeah I got this um, uh, like it's like a cooling pad it's a laptop cooling pad so I can put it under the laptop so hopefully it won't overheat because every time I start editing videos the laptop just constantly wants to overheat so yeah, I'm hoping that that will help. And I am about to eat Snickers ice cream, even though I'm like, oh yeah, I'm trying to eat healthy, but then we buy stuff like this and that if it's in the house, I cannot say no. Um, so I'm about to eat that and then hopefully watch a little bit of Outer Banks tonight because season three just came out and I am super excited to see that. Gisela already watched the whole season today. So I need to get caught up and I need to start watching it. So I think I'm going to edit and then watch some of that and then go to bed. But yeah, just wanted to let you guys know. I'll show you the heating, um, not the heating pad, <laughs> the cooling pad um, here in a minute. But I just wanted to update you guys and say goodnight. And I will add these video clips to the video clips that are, are going to go up this weekend. Um, I'm not sure what the plans are this weekend, but I know I definitely need to go do groceries and I need to get a few things that me and the girls need. We might try to do a challenge or go live. I'm not sure yet, but I know we're definitely trying to do a challenge. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, I'm going to show you guys the cooling pad real quick. And then yeah, that's it. So have a good night. Bye guys.
Okay, so this is the cooling pad here. Hoping that it will work. That's the brand. I just bought it from Amazon, so I'll let you guys know how it is. So if you want to purchase one too, you can get the same brand. I think it was like $27, so not too expensive, um, but also not too cheap. So yeah, let's see how it works. Okay, I got it plugged in. Just plugged it into there. And it's on. It's not a, not loud at all, so that's a good thing. And it definitely feels pretty cool, but I thought it was going to be colder. So hopefully it works good. But I'll let you guys know. Alright, good night. Hey guys, um, I know I'm looking crazy today, but I wanted to come on here because I'm going to try this oil um, in my scalp because... I don't know if it's the mousse that I use, but my scalp is kind of dry and a little bit itchy. Um, so I'm going to try this. It's supposed to help with that. I really bought this for Gisela, but uh, I just want to try it out too to see how it works. And I normally use head and shoulders just so that um, my hair is, or my scalp is not like itchy or whatever from all the products that I use. But I haven't used it for a while because we haven't had any and... I kind of just wanted to see what happened without it. So I want to try this and see if it works. And then if it works, I might not use head and shoulders anymore. I might just start using this. And if it doesn't, then I'll buy head and shoulders again. But I still might buy it anyways because Steven likes to use it too. He likes um, head and shoulders shampoo out of any shampoo that we use. And I don't have a pimple here. Don't know what's going on. And I have a bump right here that I've been had for a few days now. I don't know if that's a pimple or what it is, but it's driving me crazy. And don't mind my eyebrows. I am going to get them done this weekend. And I finally found a place to get my hair cut and I'm getting it cut tomorrow. Um, I went to this place before when we first moved over here to Brandon. Um, and the guy did a really good job cutting my hair. He did it exactly the way that I wanted to. So I'm going to him again and I have my appointment tomorrow at two o'clock to get my hair cut. I think that I'm just going to um, just get like layers. I don't want to, I don't want to cut my hair too short. I don't want my hair short, like the length of it. I just want layers just to give my hair a little bit more volume and that's it. So that's what I'm planning on doing tomorrow. And yeah, I'm excited for that. But I was going to do this anyways, even if I didn't have my hair appointment. Um, just because I want to try this stuff out and see how it works and see what's the hype about it. It's supposed to also like strengthen your hair and help it grow, things like that. Um, and it's also supposed to help split ends. I might have split ends. I don't know, but it doesn't really matter because I'm going to get my hair cut tomorrow. So if I do, most likely... Those are all going to be gone by the time I'm done getting my hair cut. So yeah, I'm going to leave this on probably for only like 10 minutes because I need to go pick up Gisela. She gets out of school at 335 and it's probably like 310 right now and I need to take a shower. I look crazy right now. This is my natural hair like with nothing in it except leave-in conditioner i think i am gonna buy um not a straightener because i already have one but i think i am gonna buy a hair dryer and maybe like start to diffuse my hair because that also gives my hair more volume i might not need to though since i'm getting my hair cut and i know that's gonna give it a lot of volume just doing that because it normally does but we'll see forgot to tell you guys about the cooling pad at first I kind of didn't like it because the laptop was still hot but when I kind of adjusted it like to fit on the cooling pad a little bit better I wish I would have bought a bigger cooling pad because the laptop barely fits on there so I don't know if I'm gonna end up returning it and getting another one we have a 17 inch laptop and the cooling pad that I bought was for, I think, 14 to 17 inch laptops. But I feel like it barely fits on there. And I kind of want it to be a little bit bigger than the actual, than the laptop. So 
I'm not sure if I'm going to buy another one that's a little bit bigger or if I'm going to keep that one, but we'll see. It did end up working better on after I adjusted the, the laptop on there. So yeah, we'll see, but I'll let you guys know what I decide. So yeah, I'm just going to let this sit in my hair for like five, 10 minutes and then I need to jump in the shower. I will see you guys later. Hey guys, I just came from getting my hair cut. So all I, I, I only got like a half an inch cut from like the actual length. So it doesn't look much different, but I did get some like short layers in front. I need to go home and put in um, some curling, um, curling cream and some mousse. But I kind of just wanted to come on here and do a little bit of a um, kind of a get to know me and kind of like a little bit of a vent um, just because like I've been feeling like super down this week and just like you know sad and just feeling like depressed for no reason I don't know why so I just wanted to kind of come on here and talk to you guys and let you guys know what's going on obviously I'm not perfect my life is not perfect um but yeah I I don't know about um if I want to keep going on with doing YouTube I've been loving it so far it's fun to me um but it's just you know it's time consuming on top of everything else that I need to do you know just being you know just work and this is just kind of like extra work on top of work and taking care of the house and dogs and kids and everything like that so I don't know like I've been back and forth about it and then I think like my current job is this something that I want to do for the rest of my life and it's not um honestly YouTube is really something that I really want to do I really wanted to pursue it and I have, I just don't know now if I want to keep going with it. Um, I really kind of started YouTube because of the girls, not for them. I started it for me, um, but I started it also because of them. Because I remember like years ago, they used to watch like these families on YouTube and stuff like that, which I kind of still do watch some of them and I do too. And, you know, when I see that they made, you know, a career out of, you know, just doing YouTube, recording videos, editing videos and things like that, you know, that really kind of opened my eyes and made me see that that was something that I really wanted to do myself and that I really wanted to pursue. Now, this was so many years ago. Um, so obviously, I'm just getting started with doing YouTube now. So I don't know if I like really want to keep going with it or if I want to, you know, I don't know. I really just don't know. And uh, I, you know, I'm just really trying to also give my girls like the best life and the best of me because I didn't have um, my mom growing up. And so, um... <laughs> And so um, I'm trying to give them the best of me. And that also includes a lot of time with raising kids. So, you know, with working all the time and then also doing YouTube. I know I do spend a lot of time with them even doing YouTube because recording the videos. I do everything with them. And, um, you know, and I know they, they like doing the videos with me too. But I also have to spend a lot of time, you know, editing the videos and things like that. And I'll be right back. So I also, of course, spend a lot of time editing the videos. And that's just, you know, time that I could have either for myself or, you know, with them. So I don't know if I'm going to keep going with it, even though I do love it. I would love, you know, for something to come out of it. I just don't know if I'm also willing to wait so long for that to happen. So I don't know. I've been back and forth about that. 
but I just kind of wanted to come on here and, you know, give my truth um, of kind of like my life and things like that. The girls haven't been saying anything like you haven't been spending a lot of time with me or anything like that. It's just something that I've been, you know, feeling. And so, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do, but I do want to say thank you so much to everyone, you know, family, friends, or even if you don't know me, thank you so much for the support and subscribing to, you know, my channel and watching my videos. I really, really do appreciate that. You have no idea how much I appreciate the support. Um, you know, life is hard. It's not easy. And I'm just trying to do my best as a mom, a wife, a daughter, a friend, you know, everything. So a sister, you know, I'm just trying to do my best. I'm just hoping that, you know, after this little vent that I feel a little bit better, I'm just trying to, you know, get out of this feeling, get out of this vibe. I don't want to feel this way anymore. I just want to, you know, be happy. Who doesn't, you know, want to be happy? And I definitely know the reason why God gave me two girls because I am so grateful for them. They're very well-behaved girls. Um, they do, you know, well in school. Sometimes, obviously, we do have problems. Where, um, you know, I've been having trouble with Madi going to school during the week because I am at work. And she has to be responsible enough to wake herself up in the morning, you know, get dressed and walk to school and actually get to school in the morning. And we have like the Life360 app. So I know when she's not in school, and there was a couple of days this week that she didn't go to school. Um, she did get in trouble for it, of course. I took her phone away, her laptop. I took her TV remote away, so she couldn't do any of that. But I did make a deal with her, and I would let her take her phone to school with her. But then after school, the phone is going to be, you know, it's going to come back with me. And then even on the weekends, she needs to give me the phone back because I need for her to get to sleep early and get a good night's sleep to get up to get to school in the morning. So, yeah, that's been a struggle for me. And so my ultimate goal is to, you know, try to work from home as much as I can. But of course, working for, you know, a corporate company, you can't make those kind of decisions. It's up to the job. It's up to your supervisor, whether you can work from home or not. So we work from home only Mondays and Fridays. And then Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursdays, I'm in the office. But my ultimate goal is to work from home. And that's part of the reason why I started doing this YouTube journey is because, you know, I want to be able to work from home you know possibly make a career out of it and just work for myself so that I can you know give my all to my girls and raising them Giselle's already 16 she's going to be 18 in a couple years but Madi is about to be 13 um, next month in March so I still have you know years with them and I, I just want to give them the best of me and give them the best life that I possibly can um, I just really want to get out of this feeling. Um, I got my hair cut. I'm about to go and get it done. Like, you know, go home and fix it up. I kind of wish I would have got it a little bit shorter, but it's fine. I'll, I can j always just come back another time and get it cut a little bit shorter. Um, I think, I don't know, I want, I'm want thinking about getting my nails done just because, like I said, I've just been in this bad feeling and you know vibe and I just you know want to kind of pamper myself a little bit hoping that it will help me feel a little bit better okay guys so I'm gonna leave the parking lot now I'm still in the parking lot where I got my hair cut and I'm gonna go head home I'll be home probably in about five minutes um, but yeah if you guys can relate to you know anything that I've talked about or anything that I've said comment down below i hope everybody's having a better day and a better week than i am and yeah i just want to thank you guys again um once more for supporting me 
and let's see where this goes i'm not sure what i'm gonna do yet if i'm going to keep doing youtube i know i am for this weekend because um i've already recorded some videos and we're gonna record some more and i'll probably start editing them this sunday so for now i'm gonna keep going but i don't know for how long so we'll see how long this is gonna last but yeah all right let's drive home come drive home with me guys I need to take Gisela driving again because, yeah, um, like I said in the last video, she only has three months left until she um, can get her license. And I really want her to get her license because um, Steven's job, he just started a new job and he's going to be working really, really close to the house. And he has um, a motorcycle that he can, you know, take to work with him he can take that to work and I can take his truck to work because I know Gisela probably wouldn't feel comfortable driving the truck so I can take that to work on the days where I need to you know go to the office and then Gisela can take the car to school because she would also have to be walking to school but um, luckily her boyfriend's mom she is she's been a lifesaver you know for us she's been picking up Gisela um, every morning on the days that I'm in the office and taking her to school and then she's also been um, you know picking her up in the afternoon and taking her home so she has been a lifesaver for that and I got her you know a few gifts for like Christmas and Gisela got her some stuff for Valentine's Day some flowers and chocolate and things like that um, you know just as a thank you for like picking her up and taking her to school and things like that um, it's on the way from where she lives my house is on the way to the school but she you know she still doesn't have to do that and she does and she has been a lifesaver for that but I don't want to you know always depend on somebody and I really want her to you know get her license so that she can you know drive herself to school because you know they're she's been you know picking them up um, from school but you never know like there could be a day where she can't or something like that you know where she has an emergency and then she said I can just drive herself you know to school and home and then also she can pick up Maddie from school and bring her home she can't take her in the mornings because she said off starts before Maddie does but she'll be able to pick her up in the afternoons so I need to take her driving more um, so that she can practice so hopefully by May she'll be ready and she'll pass the driving test the first time I hope because I failed mine the first time because um, it was like in a parking lot where a grocery store is at where when Dixie was and the person that was doing my driving test and I kind of had a feeling she was gonna fail me she was like an older lady and she said that I went too fast in front of the grocery store and I did like a rolling stop at the stop sign. I didn't do a complete stop, that's what she said. So she failed me and then I went my second time and I passed it, so we'll see how Gisela does in May. And if we're still doing YouTube by that time, um, you guys will see you know, how that whole thing goes. Um, then I also have been thinking about if we do, you know continue doing YouTube um, I want to I want Maddie to start her channel again because she's the main one that really really wants to start her channel again but it's kind of hard for me with working doing this channel and only and I'm only doing two videos a week on this channel and just just that alone is you know it's hard it's stressful and so I don't know if I want to do like maybe just one video a week on this channel and do one video a week on Maddie's channel or if we should just you know focus on one channel we should do this one or focus just on her channel I don't know yet um, but you know it's just been something I've been thinking about and then not knowing if we're going to keep going with YouTube too so but I told her if she does want to do her channel that you know she needs to come up with some ideas of what she's going to do and you know we can record the videos either me and her together or she can um you know do the videos
videos on her own and then of course I'll edit them but yeah so we'll see where that whole thing goes I'm not sure yet I'm already home and yeah I'm about to go inside and just fix my hair up really quick I have to wet it again because it's already getting super dry um, and then I'm just gonna do my hair really quick and then we can head out hopefully the girls are already ready because I wasn't there that long at the hair salon another thing I need to do is get these eyebrows done cuz they look terrible um, but I'm gonna try to stop talking so much in the videos because Gisela says when I talk too much in the videos that they get boring but I think this video I'm gonna add it as a separate one I'm not gonna add it as a part of, of you know a video I just kind of wanted to you know tell my truth and um, just vent to you guys because like I said I've just been having a bad week a bad day and I've just been feeling down I just Hopefully, I've cried it out a little bit. Hopefully, um, I'll feel better now for the rest of the day. All right, guys. So, this is what my haircut looks like after I put, like, the mousse and everything in it. It's still pretty long. I wish I would have got it a little bit shorter, but you can tell, like, the layers. And that was the main thing that I really wanted. So, yeah, I like it morning guys so today is monday i am currently on my break from work i took a quick shower on my break so i just kind of wanted to come on here and update you guys about how i've been feeling so i have been feeling a little bit better still not the best still been feeling like a little down and depressed and things like that and like I said, I don't know why. Um, nothing really big has changed in my life or anything like that. Um, so yeah, I don't know why I've been feeling so down. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to do my hair really quick. And I'm just gonna put just some of this curl smoothie in because um, I'm working from home, so. I don't really want to put any mousse or anything like that in my hair but I just kind of wanted to update you guys we didn't do any recording at all yesterday which was Sunday um, just because Maddie was at her friend's house she went on Saturday and then she stayed the night and then she didn't come back until like four or five o'clock yesterday and her friend just lives right up the street from the house so she went over there and then Gisela went to her boyfriend's house yesterday. So she went to her boyfriend's house like around two or three o'clock yesterday. And then um, before she went over there, we were all just cleaning. Like I cleaned, I organized, so did Steven and Gisela. Madi wasn't here, but her room is already clean anyways. So she didn't really need to do much. And so I just really, like I just told Steven, Steven knows how, how I've been feeling. And I just told him, like, I've just been like feeling down and stuff like that. And I just want to get the house, you know, in order and organized and clean and things like that. Because, um, you know, I've just, I'm hoping that that is what's going to help me. And yeah, I didn't even get my eyebrows done. Like they still look like a mess. I've. You know, I don't know. I've just been like, I want to get them done. I know I need to, but I just spent all day yesterday cleaning and organizing. So I'll be back. Okay, so I just wanted to show you guys like all the organizing and cleaning and stuff that we did yesterday. So it really definitely does kind of help me feel a little bit better with having the house, you know, clean and organized and things like that. So yeah, I have to do a little bit of cleaning today just because, you know, the dogs went out. Now the floor is a mess and that happens every day, every morning, but whatever. I have to do that. I have to do also some dishes, um, but that's about it. Oh, and laundry. Always laundry. I always have to do laundry literally every single day. I have always so much dirty clothes. But anyways, I'm going to show you guys what I did or what we all did really.
Okay, so this is what I started with yesterday. I started with my closet. I cleaned it and organized it as much as I could for the time that I had. I still want to do more stuff, but it looks a lot better than what it did. We always have a bunch of random stuff up here at the top, but I kind of organized it and cleaned it as much as I could. I need to do a little bit more, but it's not as bad as it was. So, yeah. We have like our shoes and stuff here, but I need to still organize this and clean this side a little bit more. Um, and I would like to buy something different or bigger to put our shoes on because you see Steven has some of his shoes like on top of each other. And I have we have some of our shoes down here because they don't fit. So yeah, and I need to buy something to like put all of his hats up and things like that. So. Yeah, this is what I started with yesterday. I had a lot of clothes on top of this ottoman. I put all that stuff away. So yeah, I'm definitely happy with that progress. Um, and then, of course, my room. I, and yeah, so I just organized, you know, my room and dusted it, things like that. So yeah, it does look better. And then I went to my bathroom and I organized this whole thing here. So this to me looks so, 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 so much better. Um, I had all this stuff like in my cap in the bathroom vanity or whatever. And I just organized all this stuff. This is all my makeup. I put it all in here. I need to buy a makeup organizer and that's gonna be the next thing that I probably buy. I'm gonna, probably when I go to Target, um, I had all my makeup in here, but I put it all in here and I just have mostly my, my makeup brushes in here now. I have this to clean my brushes, but I haven't used it yet. I need to get some batteries to use this um, so I can clean my makeup brushes. But yeah, um, this is all my stuff. And I have a lot <laughs> of like coconut stuff because that is my favorite scent. I love anything coconut scented. This is what I've been using like every day when I get out the shower. So yeah. Anyways, so that's what I've been using lately. And I also, I have some of like my little like, you know, jewelry stuff in here. And I need to buy like something to put my jewelry in. I might use the same thing that I use for the makeup, but we'll see. I have some of Steven stuff down here our soap, all that stuff here. And up there we just have some toothpaste and we have some things that we need to hang up to hang up the towels. Steven hasn't done that yet. And yeah, so I just kind of cleaned everything yesterday. I've also been using that, the Tree Hut Coconut Body Scrub. I love, 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 love that smell. So they also now have a body gel, which I think I also might buy. Of course I organized all of this up here and yeah I have like all my toothbrush stuff in here and you know feminine products here and then just all my hair stuff here. I might end up changing my hair stuff and putting it also on the shelves but I don't know yet and then this is all of Steven's stuff. And I just kind of organized everything. And yeah, organized all down here. I used to have these on the shelves. This is just like, I have like a lot of like medication and, you know, first aid stuff, all that stuff in there. And then I just added this stuff over here. So yeah, I just kind of organized everything. And so it looks so much better and organized and cleaner in here. So I'm definitely happy with that. Um, and then we had moved a lot of stuff for Gisela's birthday party. And we put a lot of it like in our office room. So Steven took all that stuff out yesterday. We still have some more organizing and cleaning to do in here, but it's not bad. He's always in here playing like you know, when he comes home from work and he's done doing what he needs to do, this is where he relaxes. He plays the PS5 and stuff like that. So, yeah, but it's more organized than what it was before. So I'm happy with that. And this um, table that we have out here, 
this table we used to have over here but in this section um, I'm going to be changing everything this is also probably going to be moved the shelves um, I either want to paint this wall black or maybe like a dark blue color. I'm not sure yet, but I'm definitely going to buy a chair. I don't know if I'm gonna put it like in the corner over there or put it like in the middle over here, but I wanna buy like a nice chair to just sit over here and hang out and whatever. So we used to have that table here. That is gonna end up being moved. So yeah, that's what we did yesterday and the dogs have a mess over here. I washed their bed. It's already a mess because they just like to play outside in the dirt. And Luna is over here ripping up toilet paper. So, yeah, we did that yesterday. And then this little bench um, we also had in that office room because we just moved it for Gisela's party. So we put it back here. We just have all the dog stuff here and just some random stuff in there. And... I still got to take this down from Gisela's party. So, yeah, and then the kitchen is, well, the kitchen is a little bit messy right now, um, but I did clean it yesterday. So I took out the air fryer. Um, I, need to, I need to clean this because we made some chicken nuggets in there yesterday. I need to put this Keurig away. And yeah, it's a little bit messy now, but it was cleaner yesterday so i'll do a little bit of that cleaning today and yeah so that's what i did yesterday all day okay guys so i'm gonna make a green smoothie and i'll show you guys everything that i put in it so if you want to make a green smoothie you can make one too um i know they might be hard to drink but with all the stuff i put in it you really cannot even taste the spinach and kale so yeah Okay, so I have my kale and spinach, it's all washed. Um, I normally don't put blueberries all the time or strawberries, but since I have a whole lot, I bought this big thing of blueberries from Costco. I am gonna use some because I have so many of them and I don't want them to go bad. And I'll probably just do a handful of those. I have this big thing of strawberries too. I'm gonna add some strawberries. But I normally don't put blueberries or strawberries. I usually just put like banana and avocado and that's it. But, and lemon. But since I have a lot of blueberries and strawberries, I'm gonna use them because I don't want them to go bad. I'm just gonna put a few strawberries, maybe like, Mm, two or three strawberries. I'm going to cut a piece of this avocado. Okay. And I'll come back. Um, I'm just going to get everything ready, which I'm almost done. The only thing I'm going to do is just cut up. I'll probably cut up a little bit more avocado than this and um what else oh cut up um a little piece of lemon and then i'll be right back to show you um everything that i put in there and how i do it okay so all i'm gonna do is everything that i washed and put in here the blueberries strawberries kale and spinach i'm just gonna put all of that in here i did pretty much just like a handful of everything a handful of kale a handful of spinach, handful of blueberries, and then I just did like three strawberries. So like I said, I normally don't use blueberries and strawberries um, in my smoothie, but I'm gonna use them this time because I have so many. So all I did was just put it into my cup and then I'm gonna just use one whole banana. Let me see, let me put this down a little bit so you guys can see. All right, so I'm gonna use one whole banana and I'm just gonna break that up into pieces so it'll be easier to blend. And then I cut two pieces of avocado. You can put as much avocado or as less as you want, it doesn't matter. I like mine pretty creamy, so I like to do like a pretty big piece of it. And you don't taste the avocado neither. Like I don't like avocado by itself. I have to, I have to eat it with something like 
if I'm eating it with the meal, I have to eat it like with the rice or whatever I'm eating. Um, but I do really, really like it in the smoothie. So if you don't like this stuff, honestly, you really don't taste like much of everything. The main thing that you really, really taste, honestly, is the banana. And that's why Maddie, she doesn't like my smoothies because she doesn't like bananas. So she doesn't make my smooth. She doesn't drink my smoothies. So she'll either make like um, a smoothie with. Um, she'll make a smoothie with like just like berries only, or she'll do or she'll do just mango. So. And I forgot one thing. I did buy a papaya like a couple months ago and Steven cut it up for me and we froze it. I don't like papaya, neither by itself, um, but it's really good for you. So I did freeze it. I put some in the freezer. So I'm gonna try to get a couple of pieces of that out too. So let me get that really quick. Okay, so I got the papaya out of the freezer. So I, I'm gonna put like four pieces. This is two in one pretty much because it's still frozen and then two more pieces. So I'm gonna add that in there and I cut a piece of lemon. So I'm just gonna squeeze some of this lemon in there. Oh, I am gonna add um, a tablespoon of these. So this is flax, chia, and hemp seeds. These are all really good for you. Um, I bought this whole thing at Walmart. I don't remember how much it was, but um, you can use two tablespoons, but I'm just gonna use one because I don't like like sometimes the seeds get like stuck in my throat even though um, I blend it up, but I don't think they get too much smaller. So I'm just gonna use one tablespoon, but you can use two if you wanted to. So I'm just going to add my coconut water. I still have these. I bought some, um, the Kirkland brand from Costco, but I still have a couple of these left. So I'm gonna use the rest of these and you can use as much coconut water as you want. Sometimes I only use like half of this, but this is a pretty big smoothie. I'm putting a lot of stuff in it with all the extra fruit and stuff. So I'm just gonna use the whole thing. And then I'm just gonna go get some ice really quick and I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and added my ice to there. I put that much, hopefully it'll be enough. It might not, cause this, this is a pretty big smoothie, but also my papaya is frozen. So it might work with it. Um, if not, then I'll just have to put some more ice. So I'm waiting for Steven to fix my ice maker because they had to, when we did like some renovations, they um, unhooked the water line and all that stuff. So he has to hook that back up. I'm hoping he does that soon. This was just from a bag of ice that I had in my freezer. Okay, so now let's blend it. Yeah, it might need more ice because it's still like kind of liquidy, but I'm gonna open it and see. See what we think. Yeah, it needs, it's still liquidy. So I'm gonna put a little bit more ice in here and see how that does. Um, but it looks more like a darker green because I put the smoothies, but sometimes like, I mean, because I, it looks darker green because I put the fruit but sometimes when I don't put like that much fruit, it's more like a brighter green. But let me add some ice really quick. Yeah, I added more ice, so hopefully that's enough. I didn't add too much more, so I hope I put enough in there. Yeah, it's still not that thick, but it's fine. I'll probably just drink it like that anyways. So I'm just gonna pour it in here. Actually, it does look pretty thick now that I'm pouring it in here. So I'm gonna pour it in here and I'm gonna put the top on. Don't know if I'm gonna be able to drink this whole thing because usually when I make this much, I'll give a little bit to Gisela and a, or a little bit to Steven or sometimes both. But they're not here. Steven's at work and Gisela's at school. So let's taste it. It's pretty good. Um, Honestly, I barely even taste the banana in this one. I taste more of the strawberries and blueberries. But yeah, this is gonna be my lunch, probably along with the protein bar. It's already two o'clock. I haven't eaten, eaten anything all day. All I've had was some coffee this morning and some water, that's it. So I'm gonna drink this, probably have a protein bar, 
and that's it that's gonna be my lunch all right i'm back at my desk i am about to get some work done and drink my smoothie this is the protein bar that i am gonna eat and yeah Gisela was the one that wanted these she saw these when we went to sam's and she said that she tried them before so she wanted them or it's a protein energy bar um i don't know how it tastes i've never had it before but i'm gonna try it hopefully it's good and yeah this okay so earlier i showed you guys how i make my green smoothies um i'm going to prepare some to make some for the week so that in the morning I can just hurry up and blend it really quick and take that to work with me. So I'm just gonna put all the same stuff um, that I used earlier, I'm just gonna put it in a couple Ziploc bags. I don't know if I'm gonna make two or three yet. Um, depends on how much stuff I have left because like my kale and stuff is starting to go bad and my spinach too. So we'll see how many I'm gonna make. And then in the morning before I go to work, I'll just blend it really quick and take that with me. So yeah, I'm just gonna show you guys. I'll just show you guys one really quick because once I do one, there all the rest of them are the same. So of course, I just take a handful of spinach. Take a little bit more. I'm gonna take this piece out because that one doesn't look too good. And then I'm going to take. Oh, and I just dropped a piece. <laughs> and Luna's eating it. And then I'm gonna take a handful of kale. Handful of kale. Put that in there. I'm gonna take a handful of blueberries, and I already washed everything before I started the video. Okay, so two strawberries, and then I'm just going to open one of these bananas. And then just break the whole thing up and just put it in the bag. That's it. I'm going to make either one or two more. So I have everything in here. So in the morning, all I have to do is just um, add a little bit of the lemon and put the coconut water and add the seeds in there. And then that's it. Just blend it up really quick. And then I have um, a green smoothie to take with me. And then sometimes I make breakfast smoothies. So I might show you guys another time how I make those. Um, but yeah okay so i think that's gonna be the end of this video i'm gonna make one or two more of these and then i am going to try to start editing this video and have it up for you guys tomorrow so if you like this video don't forget to like share and subscribe and we will see you guys in the next one good night guys i don't know if i mentioned earlier but i'm gonna put these in the freezer so that way too in the morning i probably won't have to put any ice or um, maybe just a little bit of ice with the coconut water and that's it so i'm going to put these in the freezer so that they can freeze overnight and then yeah i'll just blend them really quick in the morning with the uh, lemon coconut water and the seeds and then that's it all right now good night